checking into the instructor's bio is getting to know a little bit about their writing style. Since instructors do change over time, absolutely take the time when you're actually looking into your next course to check out which teacher you're clicking on and you're signing up for. It's a really good snapshot of who you might be working with for the next 10 weeks that you have this course for. I do this for all of my instructors. I look into, they have a little bio on UCLA Extension where they do give you a little bit about their background, what they write, a little bit about their philosophy. I'm a little bit more seasoned through certain courses. I've taken a few different courses um, in different locations or different schools. So for me, Finding my writer's voice and having a teacher that might understand my writer's voice or the style or genre that I like to write in, that's something that I can actually kind of find in the bio, which for me is really helpful to see if they'd be able to really hone my craft in that specific area that I want work on. So for you, if you're very, very new to screenwriting, you may not have a specific voice or a specific thing you want to work on with an instructor just yet. So you may not see that extra bit of information that comes from the bios at first, but as you go through the courses, you will start to notice that those bios do really give you a lot of very important information about your instructor that is pretty useful for how you go into a class and what you expect from it. I think some of the most important things that happens when I go into a class is I remind myself that Every instructor is different, just like every writer is different. Everyone has their own process and you're going to learn a process and it doesn't mean that it's always the one that's perfect for you. You can always modify this and that's why I definitely have taken more than a few beginner courses in the very beginning to kind of get a hold of what my new process would be like as I grew as a writer. But as a beginner, you just wanna make sure you get down the fundamentals. That's gonna be something that will shape your writing and your concept later on. But that wraps up everything. I hope you enjoyed this mini-sode. I'll see you on the next one, scribes.